when I was five, I started like karate. Um, and then I did that for like nearly nine years. I got my black belt in that. Um, so I took that to the extreme, like everything that I do. Um, <laughs> and I did that. And then once I finished that, um, I was like, no, nope. I got my black belt and I got in like high school and I was like, I want to do some more stuff that's a bit more aggressive. Um, so then I went into Muay Thai and kickboxing. And um, so I trained like kickboxing and stuff all through my teens. But um, like combat sports for women was illegal in Australia um, until 2008. Okay. So um, you couldn't actually fight. Uh, you could fight in Queensland, but it was like modified. But um, pretty much everywhere else, like New South Wales and stuff, you couldn't fight. So I was just training and I couldn't fight. And at that age, like I was like, what, 14, 15, 16, I wasn't really thinking to like travel up to Queensland to fight. Like, you know, yeah. it just wasn't a thing. So I was just doing all this training. And then when I left school, it was kind of like, oh, well, you know, I can't fight and stuff. So what I'm going to do, and that's how I got into the bodybuilding. But yeah, I'd always okay. been into, the, the, the background is like, I've always been into combat sports. I need to do what I love, you know, and I've always loved fighting, always been a passion. Like, you know, <clears throat> obviously I watched a lot of box, like boxing and kickboxing growing up and, Every single video that I, my movie is always action and like, you know, going to street fights. Like it was just, it was just like bound to happen, I think. And I know I was just like, well, what do I love to do? So I'm just going to do that. And so that's why I picked up boxing. You know, I, I can't quit. I just have no quit in me. So I'm like, all right, you know what? Just push through and I'll eventually get there. And I ended up having a good run, like about three or four months of no injury, which I was actually able to get in the gym and train properly and get ready for a fight. And then um, I had that fight. And um, I broke the girl's nose in the second round and <laughs> it was over in like two and a half minutes. <sighs> like, I don't really care because I'm so po confident in myself and I know that, I know that, um, I know the kind of fighter I am and I'm the complete opposite kind of fighter that you would expect me to be because, you know, I'm so girly and so feminine um, that you'd think that I'd box a bit girly, you know what I mean? But I literally fight like Mike Tyson. So, so. I had my first fight um, in February, first professional fight, February 2019. Mm -hmm. um, February 8th, um, I fought on Foxtel. Um, so it was a main event, pay-per-view, really big fight. Um, you know, I had a good amateur career. So, you know, it was a bit of a, a little bit of a hype. Um, and then in the first 10 seconds of my fight, I snapped my ankle. Wow. Um, yeah, so I got, I snapped my ankle. I went down, got hit with a flash, like a, just a flash knockdown. Went down, snapped my ankle, got back up um, and then fought the next four rounds with a snapped ankle. Um, I won the fight, but then I had, and then I was out for eight months. So as soon as I throw that first punch, you know, the nerves go and, um, and then it's game on and, and, you know, we've, I've trained so hard and, you know, you know what I'm like, like, you know, I don't leave no stone unturned. Like what, um, characteristics and personality traits would you say that you have that have helped you along the way? I'd definitely say like tenacity and determination. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like that no quit attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, sometimes it's just too much, but yeah. Um, that definitely that, um, and confidence, um, in, in believing in myself, self-belief, mm -hmm. um, definitely. I think self-belief is a big thing, um, because especially with where I'm at, like with the amount of people, like, you know, like say how well known I am and how successful I am, you obviously get a lot of hate as well. Um, yeah. cause people don't like to see other people be successful and knowing how confident I am in myself and the person I am, not just as an athlete, but just my per who I am and what I've been through and how I've come out and you know the person that I am um I think that helps me stay very grounded mm -hmm.